Welcome back to this week's Q&A. So this week's question is, can you take Wolbutrin and insert stimulant together? And if so, what's the benefit of taking them together? And the short answer is yes, you absolutely can take them together. And the benefit of taking them together is that you get both support for your ADHD and support with for your uh, depression, if that's what you're also being treated for. Now, in order to understand how these two things work together, it's best to understand how they work separately and then put them together. So in the case of your stimulant medication, it's acting by increasing dopamine, norepinephrine, potentially serotonin uh, in your body so that it's, there's more there for your body to use. Well, butrin, on the other hand, is what we call an NDRI. We've talked a little bit about Wellbutrin in the pros and cons for ADHD medications video. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it. But an NDRI means that it is a norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor. And reuptake inhibitors are really good for us because they allow your body to have, again, more time to absorb the good stuff and not have it cleared away by any of the transporters. So Wellbutrin works to increase the availability of dopamine and norepinephrine, and your stimulants are also working to increase the availability of dopamine and norepinephrine and potentially serotonin as well. So you can already see together, they make a pretty great duo, particularly again, if you have ADHD and depression. Interestingly enough, there are some studies that show that you can take the Wellbutrin by itself for ADHD at some of the higher dosages. It can help both with the mood dysregulation piece and with the ADHD symptoms. But if you're looking for a combination of medications to address both, those two together can be a powerful pair. The one caveat is if you have anxiety, because they are both increasing norepinephrine, you can imagine that's our flight or fight hormone it is likely that it may worsen your anxiety symptoms. So work with your doctor, communicate with your doctor, let them know how you're feeling, and don't, don't be sad if it ends up that that's not the fit for you because it's making your anxiety worse. There are a lot of options out there. And of course, you know I gotta say it. If you have a history of not doing well on medications, having lots of side effects, genetic testing might be for you. Um, so stick around and we'll do more reviews of that. In the meantime, like, subscribe, comment, share this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye.